Hey there, what's up everyone? Um, I'm here on my still at this time untitled channel of uh, geeky shit. So um, this time after my last video I had mentioned I was going to do a review of another Star Wars toy which I put next to my ad -ats, um and that is the ATSD. Now, to the I don't believe they were actually in um, Empire Strikes Back. I don't think they actually used it. However, it seems like it's a pretty standard thing to have an ATST with an ad -at or ATAT. Um, it just seems like they fit together pretty well. Now, in the past, they have had, um, ATSTs, but I never had them, just like the ADATs, um, and apparently, like, a lot of them would break. Like, the legs would break, and I believe there was a feature, like, you could, like, push a button, and, like, the legs would actually move to make it look like it's walking, which, uh, I'm not really a big fan of. Um, I'm not really big on, like, action features, and I kind of never really was. Like, firing missiles and all that shit. I never really got into that. But, um, this is a new one. This came in a battle pack. And I believe it was called the Attack on Hoth. And there was another one called the Defense of Hoth, which I really wanted. But my wife got me, uh, Attack on Hoth. Now, she knew nothing about it. She she doesn't really like Star Wars. She said she likes Star Trek more than Star Wars. Which I think is good on her. I actually agree. But I still love Star Wars, as you guys can probably tell already. But, um... She got it, and um, she hopes she got the right one, and she did. That's the one I wanted, because I always wanted an ATSD. But enough fucking gabbing. Let's go ahead and go with the review. Uh, again, I'm on my washing machine, and it's a really cool looking figure. It looks really accurate. Um, there are a few things, and I'm going to go over uh, some of the features. Now, the first thing, like this little gun here, this actually came with two different versions. It had like a really big gun that had like a firing missile. Sorry, I got some stuff on my finger for my soldering iron um but i went with the more accurate one and it actually does move a little bit it's not very much play but um you know it's this is the it's pretty cool actually and then there's this the side guns i believe this is just like a blaster and then there's a concussion grenade launcher um you can actually adjust these little windows which honestly it makes more sense to have them open in my opinion um but that's just my opinion right there um, unless they have some kind of like screen that will show what's on the what's out front, it's not going to make a whole fuck of a lot of sense. So um, I just keep them open. I think it looks cooler. I don't know why. It looks more like a face when it's open. Um, and then we go up here. There is a hatch, um, and I'm going to get to the figures inside in a minute. Um, and you know, you can like I guess you can basically simulate the scene like where Chewbacca was coming out in uh, uh, Return of the Jedi. And but basically, they're going to be bearing on the weight of the figure's arms because there's not a whole lot of way to stand them up in there. But they got the railings too, so if you want to do something with that, you can. But it doesn't just open like that. It actually opens like this. Um, so you can actually fit some figures down in there. Now, this is the um, ADAT Pilot. I'm sorry my camera sucks. I can't really focus that well. Um, the paint job is not that great. Um, so that's why I put it in here because... I don't know. I just I wanted the good ad at pilots in my ad at. It also came with the very first um, superposable um, ATSC driver. I really wish they would have had two, but they didn't. And I tried to put like some of my older ones next to it, but number one, they didn't look right. Number two, um, they didn't really fit. Like the legs were too wide apart. And this one, like you can actually pose the legs better. Now, one thing that really pissed me off is these the goggles here. Uh, on the package, it showed the goggles around the helmet, like I have now. But actually broke them. Now I can have them on like that, because there's really no way you can like put it over the eyes and then put the helmet on. Um, but it's a really nice figure. You know he's not all big and beefy like some of the old ones. Um, there's not a, I don't know if like the cockpit's that accurate, but it's not too bad. There's nothing really that you could put their hands on, so you basically just have to put them at their sides or in their cockpit areas. Um, so yeah, that's. That's the inside, which is cool. Um, now, one thing is the legs are posable. Um, I believe there's... I don't really want to move these legs much at all because they, it is a pain in the ass to stand up. This thing is hard to get balanced correctly, especially like if you want to have in some kind of uh, pose. It really sucks to get this thing to stand without falling. But there's, um, I believe, a joint in the feet here. There's one here. One up here, one up here, and then you can actually, if I can do this with one hand, yeah, you can pull out the legs, and there's actually two joints there, too, and 
you can move um, they actually swivel too and that's on both sides obviously um, I'm not sure about these toe things I believe they're supposed to be like a fork shape that's how it is on a model I have but I don't know if that was just for um, balance for the model or not um, seems like it would have helped but I'm not 100% sure um, maybe I should have looked that up. I'm usually pretty good with research when it comes to things like this, but it's a really cool vehicle. Uh, it's definitely, you know, an awesome addition if you, uh, collect things like Empire, stuff like I do. It looks really cool next to the ad -Ats. Um, again, I don't know if the ad 100% in scale, but it looks like this ATSC is actually really good scale, and I think the old ones even were as well. Um... But I'm I, I'm pretty sure. You know, actually, I know the ad not completely in scale. They I know they said it was at least when they were first talking about it, but it's not. But it, it's a really cool addition. This is a really cool figure, and um, it was fairly easy to find when it came out. But um, it's probably gone for some high dollar on eBay, which unfortunately there are some vehicles that I want that are probably going to go for a couple hundred bucks, like the ATT, which I really wish I had the money at the time when that came out, but I'm getting off topic here, but um, I'm going to keep on doing reviews. I have quite a few vehicles, um, mostly Empire. I think I have like a couple little things here and there that aren't, I think maybe Rebels or possibly uh, Separatists, but I'm not sure. I have a lot of shit, so uh, I hope you guys liked this little review. I know it was quick. It wasn't like the ad ad. There's not as much to it, obviously, so uh, hopefully you guys stick around and... Uh, uh, we'll watch my next review, so take care, guys.